Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of C++ Slot Machine. So, I'm finally back on YouTube, and this is with episode 2 of C++ Slot Machine. Um, after like, 7 months, or something like that. But um, I finally made some major bug fix improvements that will be able to show. So in this video, I'm just going to be explaining what we need to do to get the C++ Slot Machine 100% functioning. There may be future videos with extra bug fixes. Be sure to let me know any mistakes I could have made in the comments. Um, so let's get straight into it. So let's start with our cash variable and bet variable. They're both still here. But um, instead of having while cash is greater than bet, we have while true so it doesn't exit the loop. Um, where I show you down here. So up here we've got... Uh, all the num1, num2, and num3 set to zero. So running it would make the initial printing of it of the variable to be zero here. And then you bet, and then it shows you the number. And now I've got it checking to see if uh, cash is greater than bet before it minus equals and plus equals. And, um, if that doesn't add up, it says not enough cash, and then it clears the screen. And if it exits the loop, it will tell you that it's exited the loop. But I've never actually checked what had happened if you ran out of money, so that might be something we could fix right here, right now. So if I bet $1,000, $100. Okay, so we can't actually lose. That's something we gotta fix here. Let's see if that works. Okay, that does work. And now we need something here for if cash equals zero. See uh, have lost. And <coughs> break. How that works. Now we can remove this, and I'll go over the code for you. So to start, we've got we've got the exact same libraries as we did before, and we're still using namespace standard. Everything's um, constrained to the main function, and we've got our random numbers. But these are just the um, declaration. So, we've got 1, 2, and 3 still. We've got our variables for cash and bet. And we've got our while loop. Um, we've got it seeing out cash. And then, it'll also see out num1, num2, and num3. But at this point, it's still equals 0 until our first bet. <coughs> when we bet, It'll make all the numbers random, and check if all the numbers equal the same. 
If you don't have enough cash, it'll tell you you got not enough cash, and nothing will happen. If you've lost, it'll tell you that you've lost um, with the if cash equals zero, if statement. And um, if nothing happens, it'll just um, clear the screen. Okay, time to check something here. And see if the thing still works. Just make that one, one, and one. Damn, sorry. No semicolons here. That should do us. Let's see what happens if we bet a thousand dollars. And then we do that. Okay, that works. And we'll get rid of the times two. What if it's two hundred dollars? I got rid of the rand. Okay, that'll work. So if I do $200, okay, that's a problem. Oops, if. So I gotta work out what's happening here. So. I go greater than If I try and go on, if cash is greater than or equal to bet. Oh shit. I can put a letter in there. Let's see if it still works if we go a hundred. Okay. So one, two. Okay, seems to be working fine. <laughs> hmm. That concludes episode two of um C++ slot machine, uh, part three coming in a few days. Um, I'm, I'm sorry for the long wait. If you guys are no longer interested, uh, understand. Um, very, very, very sorry about that.